Begging by Maniskin is the song I'm talking you through today. Just could be looking at the main grooves in this track. There's um, there's quite a lot going on in regards to the groove. Um, there's four like stab sections where the whole band stab the same phrase together. So I'm going to talk through that um, and yeah, just generally talk about the grooves that are played in this track and the grooves that you can use in this track. Before I crack on this video though, if you've liked this video, give it a like ask me some questions, let me know your comments, and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, if you could do that too, because that will help me out tremendously. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial, I'm gonna play the grooves first of all, and then I'm gonna break it down, give you a few options and talk you through it bit by bit, so you know exactly what's going on. So the main groove, like the kind of intro groove, sounds something like this. So there's lots of variations going on in this track. It's a great cover of this song. Really funky and just like, yeah, really fun to play on the kit, but there is a lot going on. So this interpretation of this first groove that I've got down, that I'll just play to you then, goes something like this, where we've got eighth notes to start with, and then it goes into a 16th note pattern. It's a little bit um, different to what we'd possibly normally play, Broken down, we're going to go, no cymbals, no open hi-hats, just all close hi-hat to start with. We're gonna go three and four and one and two E and a three and four and and again one and two E and a three and four and now the whole song is pretty much based around bass snap, bass snap, bass snap, bass snap. All the extra little bits, all the extra snares, the extra kicks, the open hi-hats are just an added bonus that just makes this track sound even funkier. Okay, the hard part of what I've just played is that beat two. Two, e, and da. Now if your hands are not quite quick enough, this will be a little bit of a struggle for you, but don't worry, the groove I'm gonna talk about next um, is a, a simpler version that you can just use anyway if you find it a little bit hard. But let's just do that two e and da again. We're gonna go two e and da, both right, right, left, and again, two, three, go. Both right, right, left, and again, two, three, four. Both right, right, left. One more, two, three, go. Both right, right, left. There is an open hi-hat at the beginning, sometimes he plays a crash cymbal, but um, but let's just do that groove. Let's do it with the open hi-hat. So the open hi-hat is gonna open on beat one and close on that two slowly. Here we go, whole bar, three and four and one and two, e and a three and four and again. One and two, e and a three and four and okay obviously when that's fast that does sound really funky um the snare drum on the da of the two is not going to be as loud as the two and the four the two and the four are going to be your backbeat that's your you know that's driving this track really so all the extra snares and kicks and stuff throughout this track are going to be quieter the two and the four have got to cut through um, when the vocal's coming on like the verse, it kind of strips down a little bit to the groove I mentioned a moment ago. That groove is literally bass snap, 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 bass snap. So if you want to play to this track but you can't quite get your head around all the extra kicks and the, the tricky kind of hand pattern, you can just do this, this groove and it will work and sound absolutely fine. So let's just, before we move on, just do this groove real slow. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Two more. One and two and three and four. One more. One and two and three and four and. Okay. Then we get to this um, 
what I call a stab section where the whole band play together. We've got an eight bar pattern. Here's what it sounds like, it goes like this. So we've got quite a lot going on here. The first three bars I'm playing, snare, floor tom and kick, I'm going one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. And then this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and a. One and two and a three and a. So the first part we're going uh, one and two, and then we've got a kick to the snare. So we're going to go one and two and a three, and then I'm going left, right, left, right, left, and that stick in will enable us left, right, left, right, left to play our right hand on the crash symbol of the fifth bar. Now the fifth bar, we start with the crash. We go one and two, three. Four, and then same again, one and two, three, four, same again, one and two, three, four, and the eighth bar, the last bar, goes one and two and three and two and da. We've got like a choke hi hat in there. Let's do that last bar slowly. One and two and three and da and da. The same kind of sticking around the kit is what we did in bar four. So let's do eight bars slowly. Three and four and one and two, three, four. Second bar, one and two, three, four. Third bar, one and two, three, four. Fourth bar, one and two and a three and a four and a one and two, three, Four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three. Last bar and one and two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Then it goes into the next section. Now it pretty much goes over the same kind of grooves again. You know, you can do the intro groove that we talked about. You could do the simpler bass snap. You know, open some hi hats, add some extra kicks, um, and just kind of repeats itself. Then it kind of breaks down um, to this uh, verse again, um, and we're going to play a rim click this time. And it's very similar to the first groove we talked about, but on the track, they add some extra hi hats extra kicks. Now I'm not going to go too crazy with this, I'm just going to add an extra couple of 16th note hi-hats at the end here. You can change it every bar and listen to the track and, and just work it out bit by bit, but it just changes all the time, so it's quite hard to kind of pinpoint exactly what's being played. But this is something like what it goes like on the track. Have a listen, goes like this. So you can make this as funky and as syncopated as you like, but what I'm going to teach you and what we're going to go through now is this rhythm. We're going to go, again, your rim click, thumb and first finger on the stick, fingers over the top, listen for that sweet spot. We're going to go slowly, one and two, e and a, three and four and a. So we added them sixteenth notes at the end. Let's do it again, three and four and one and two, e and a, three and four and a one and two e and a three and four and a one and two e and a three and four one more one and two e and a three and four and a one and when that's really quick it does sound quite cool okay but again you can vary it like I said then we get to our second uh, kind of stab section. It's pretty much 
the same sort of stab section we talked about a moment ago so do exactly the same thing again if you want to add some extra feels you can really go to town on this track feel free to do that but it's pretty much exactly the same back to the grooves we've already talked about it does just literally play over exactly the grooves that we've talked about again you can add to your I can't stress enough how much you can add extra stuff to this track extra kicks extra open hi-hats um, we do get to this third stab section that I'm going to talk about then I'm going to talk about the fourth stab section and that's pretty much the track so the third stab section two minutes 11 into the track goes like this So what I'm playing here, snare, floor, tom and kick. We're gonna go one and two and three, four. Then a whole one bars rest. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna play a choke. We're gonna go one, two, three and four. And into the next section. That last bar. Choke, two, three and four. And into the next section. Three bars in a row. Three and four and one, and two, and three, four, whole bars rest. One, two, three, four, and choke. Two, three, and four, and up into the next section, which again, is the same sort of grooves that we've already talked about. The last stab section in this song is two minutes 42 into the track. It's eight bars again, have a listen, sounds like this. So the first two bars, we're gonna choke the cymbal and beat one, we're gonna hit it and grab it, stop it ringing with the kick. So we're gonna go one, two, three and again one two three four the third bar snare and floor tom and kick we're going to go one and two three four and then the fourth bar we're going to go one two three and four and and then we go in to the next section which is also a choke let's do that fourth bar again three and four and one and and three and the four and then we're gonna go bar five we're gonna go one two three four and one two three four and one and two three four choke 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 lemon eight in or and four e and so there's quite a lot going on here let's do the eight bars real slow three and four and one, two, three, four. Second bar. One, two, three, four. And one, and two, three, four. Fourth bar. One, and two, and three, and the four. E and one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, last bar, one, two, three, and four, and, and then that will bring us back into our groove, okay, so there's a lot going on here, but it's a great track, it's really fun to play, you can do so much with it, um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, if you find the grooves quite hard, just stick to that bass, snap, bass, snap, throughout the track and that will win every time. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.